Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. Uh, first off, just letting you know that I have a little bit of a cold, so if I uh, am sniffling or if I am coughing, I apologize. Um, but yeah, let's move on here. Um, in our last episode, we kind of took a little bit of a stroll around the convent and um, found some new uh, places to explore. And now we are trying to help out, um, I can't remember his name now, but we're trying to help him find, uh, the Templar conspiracy, uh, under the slabs in the chapel. So we are trying to help him out. So let's talk to the old man, or at least look at him anyway. Oh, it wasn't the skeleton from biology class after all. It was just the old man again. <laughs> from history class. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go talk to him. Um. <laughs> oh, a visitor. What a rare, rare, rare animal. The hawk. But I don't mean the remake. I mean the original with with extra ketchup, please. Okay. This guy is obviously a little bit confused. Uh, uh, how rude of me. I forgot to tell you, um, to tell you how it used to be when the pyramids were built. I was the chief flogger on the north side. <laughs> yes, yes. In my life, I've unified. Unified Tibet, I said. Okay. Back then, I served as a carpet beater under three different Dalai Lamas. For one of them, I was even there as a rebirth assistant in the maternity ward. <laughs> rebirth assistant. It was very different <laughs> from the year I was an interior decorator for the Mayas. Build a mythical sliding puzzle here, hide a few artifacts in dark alcoves over there. Oh, yes. I was building secret crypts when you were still in... In in the indie band Inquisition Overload. But it flopped, unfortunately. The time wasn't right for that kind of music. Plus, our drummer had the plague. Uh, <laughs> I got old. So old that all I'm good for now is as an exhibition piece for history, Clav. Clav. All right. Yes, this guy has lived a very, 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 very long time, apparently. He made help build the pyramids, all the way to helping the Dalai Lamas with beating carpets, apparently. Yes. And now he's just hanging on this hook. <laughs> ah, this guy. Alright, tell me a story. I'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanted to tell you, telling stories takes a lot of skill. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for history class <laughs> in a convent school. I just had to tell stories about my adventures once a week. For example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the Templars below the school chapel. Okay. Or about my time as a lighting assistant for the <laughs> moon landing. And if you don't know, that's a referral, re a reference to the fact that the moon landing supposedly was faked. But we will not get into that. All right. The Templar grave inside the chapel. Hmm? W w what? <laughs> oh, oh I, I must have dropped off for a moment. But I was just going to tell you an exciting story from my past. Was it the story of how I tried to navigate to Cape Town and ended up discovering the Eurasian continent? Uh-uh. Oh, I know. 
I wanted to tell you how I helped the Templar Knights build the convent chapel, right? Uh-huh. I was particularly happy because I had eaten a banana. Or oh, was I sad because all there was to eat was coconuts again? No, the coconuts were when the Trojan mayor gave me the key to the city for my heroic valor. Or was my heroic valor while building dikes in Atlantis? <laughs> but I think I had an apple that day. Wasn't I a little more sleepy in Atlantis? And angry while building the chapel? Oh, what poppycock. I'm getting everything mixed up. Fortunately, I created a memory ah, aid just okay. for this anecdote. So that I'd remember the location of the secret crypts below the convent chapel. Uh-oh. Someone tidied up the shelf. That's where the objects for my three E's should be. Emotion, engagement, and eating. Now I can't... Um, oh. You can't make a fool of myself. <laughs> now, let's see. Okay, so... He'll explain that... Um, I think it was enchantment, engagement, and eating. Or engagement. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He'll explain it right here. Uh. I know exactly what you're looking for. An instructive story about my time with the Templar Knights. Unfortunately, my memory aid is still missing a few important pieces. If I only knew what the three E's for this story were. But right now, all I can remember are a few vague associations. Four, to be precise. Okay. Let's see the first clue. As everyone knows, each different food creates exactly one emotion and promotes one characteristic. For example, I was never sad if I'd packed a few apples, because they always helped me be very strong. Okay. So, who two? I could only do heroic deeds on days when I wasn't sad. On the other hand, if I was angry, I could never show great strength. Coconuts were always good at preventing sleepiness. Hmm? Okay. And clue four. On this one specific day when I was helping the Templars, I was neither happy about an apple nor angry about a banana. But I also wasn't sad about a banana or happy about a coconut. Okay. Let's see. I think that's pretty much it for what to talk to him about. I have up here you see this notepad. Um, and this will help you with this puzzle. Uh, give you the clues on how to solve this particular puzzle. But first, let's click on the notepad. And as you can see, uh, I have some clues here on what to do. And then, if I once I get the first, once I get the grid filled in, I'll get this last these uh, three hints. So this is one of those um, logic grids where one thing, um, like in this case, apples packed. I've never with apples packed. I've never been sad because they only gave me strength. So apples cannot be associated. This is like an association chart. So apples cannot be associated with sa sadness, but they can be associated with strength, which is um, one of these animals here. So obviously we have our emotions. We have happy, angry, or sad. We have our fruit, which um, promotes a an emotion and uh, or get, is associated with an emotion and promotes a an attribute, like you said. So we have our banana, apple, and uh, coconut. And then we have our actual, um, another association with the animals where these are the, uh, I think this one is like courage. It's a deer for courage. Sleepiness for um, the porcupine. 
and then strength for the bear. So basically what we need to do is just fill this grid in and you could just pick whatever um, association. So like, yes, this one, it works or no, this one doesn't work. So let's try and fill this in. So with apples packed, I've never been sad. So apples cannot be associated with sadness because they provided me with great strength. So apples can be associated with strength. So that means that these two cannot be true for the apple because you can only have one uh, true statement for each uh, fruit and one true statement for each animal associated with the emotion and fruit and one for the emotion fruit and animal. So, all right, let's continue on here. Um, I was able to, oh yeah, heroics, yeah, that's the deer. Um, I was only able to accomplish heroic deeds on days when I wasn't sad. So her, her, <laughs> heroic deeds cannot be sad, um, associated with sadness. And then I seethed with anger whenever I was never, however, I was never able to show great strength. So strength cannot be associated with anger. And then coconuts have always been reliable in keeping me from drowsiness. So a coconut cannot be associated with the porcupine. All right. So now we have a little bit of this grid filled up. And this is where it's sort of um, kind of a guessing game a little bit but kind of not if you really look at the clues. So let's try. Hmm. Well, this one has to be, well, I guess not. Um, let's see. So let's see here. When back never been sad because only they provided me with great strength. Okay. So apples and strength. We got that one down. So we're going to assume that sadness can't be associated with strength. And strength is with happiness. Okay. Because of the fact that he was strong. So while he was strong, he was never sad. And heroic deeds were on days when I wasn't sad. So actually, I bet... Let's see. I see it with anger, however, I was never able to show great strength with sadness. So, maybe strength is actually with anger. Heroic deeds, whoops, wrong one. Is with happiness. And then sleepiness or drowsiness is with the sadness. So, this whole block is filled in because you can only do heroic deeds when you're happy you can be have show Drake's great strength oh nope okay nope it's got to be this way around Because he can't show great strength, or, or, yeah, great strength when he's angry. So, he would have to be angry to show heroic deeds. Okay, and then coconuts were always reliable from keeping me from drowsiness. So, he can't be drowsy with a coconut. So, maybe coconuts... Let's see. 
<laughs> just trying to figure this out. Um, so these two would be taken care of. So let's say the coconut is associated with the heroic deeds. All right, let's try something like that. I have no idea if this is right so far, but we'll find out once it's right. If it's right, we will, uh, this hint will open up. So that will help, help us with that. So the coconut is let's see <laughs> sorry this is probably extremely boring to watch but uh got to figure this out here all right so the apple never made him sad so i'm guessing the apple probably made him happy The coconut made him angry, or is associated with anger. And the banana for sadness. We'll give that a try. Nope, that's wrong. Oh, no, that was right. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, I wonder what would happen if, like, I did this. Nope. Or maybe like switch these around, just seeing if it will still fill in. Okay, nope. So I was correct. Good. Okay. So the fourth clue is on the special day when I helped the Knights Templar, I was neither happy about apples nor furious about banana. Yet I was also I also wasn't sad about a banana or happy about a coconut. So we kind of said a little bit of that already, but we get a little bit more information. I think it's a little bit more than what he uh, he told us. So, all right, so let's get out of here if I can. There we go. So yeah, that's the um, puzzle. That's that's the solved chart. Okay. Unfortunately, though, I don't think we have. We have our fruit right here, banana, coconut, and apple, but we need those uh, shelf pieces. It was the old man's memory aid. If Lily wanted him to help her, she had to find the right objects. An emotion, an engagement, and something to eat. Emotion, engagement, something to eat. That's what it was. Um... Yeah, so we have the something to eat, but we don't have the emotion, which would be the three animals that he was talking about or was in our chart here. The deer, the porcupine, and the, uh, the bear. So, let's see. Before we move on, let's take a little bit of a look here at the other stuff. Lily had asked for a musket last Christmas. Instead, she'd been given a muskrat nibbling on gingerbread. Can we take it? Hey, don't touch it. That's my old Boy Scout equipment. I might be old, but I can... I can tell you stories that'll make your ears ring. Some of them are about my old Boy Scout equipment, but... Only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. So get your hands... Hands... Oh. Okie doke. So we can't take this stuff because it's all part of his Boy Scout equipment. Let's see, how about the guinea pig in a jar? Someone had trapped the guinea pig in a glass. The animal took it in stride. It didn't even try breaking out. <laughs> can we take this? We can. All right. Let's see. Anything else in here? Nope. Nothing really. Um, yeah, I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a video here. It's been a pretty long video already. Um, sorry it was kind of a boring one, but 
it's a helpful one and it showed you how to solve that uh, logic puzzle so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time on edna and harvey harvey's new eyes until then